more often than not, you feel that 24 hours a day are not enough. You cannot eat enough sleep, and you always find yourself in this situation. It's a struggle for you to spare time for yourself and your loved ones. There will always be something you have to do, and sometimes you are too hard on yourself in doing things. This means that you have a strong determination to be successful. 8. You regret mistakes you've made in the past. It's easy for you to blame yourself for any mistakes that you made in the past. You acknowledge that you've made some bad decisions, and sometimes you want everything to go back to how it used to be. But, you realize that regret will take you nowhere and the only thing that you can do is to not repeat the same mistakes you've done. 9. You always miss your childhood, family, and your loved ones. Growing up sucks that you always find yourself looking back to your old life when everything was according to its place. You live on your own and being separated with your family and loved ones is not easy at all. But, deep down inside you don't want to give up. You're fully aware that all the struggles and success will be the best gift for all the people that you love. 10. You feel lost, confused, and anxious about your future. You appear to be bold and strong, but most of the time you feel extremely insecure about your own life. You've always questioned yourself regarding what you really need and what your life purpose is. You don't exactly know how life's supposed to be, simply because many unexpected things happen. But, despite all the confusions and fears, you can manage yourself to always finish your responsibilities and work. At the end of the day, you always take things one day at a time, and you fully understand that everything will happen according to your own time zone. Blessed to live in, every single meeting and chance encounter serves a greater purpose. Sometimes, we need people to wake us up and help change the direction of our lives. At other times, we need people to uplift us and remind us who we are. And sometimes, it's simply about those who are meant to hold space for us. Ironically, we aren't meant to know the purpose of every person we meet in this life but we are meant to remain open to whatever each encounter will reveal. In some ways, we have to look at the world as having connections running all through it. Some threads are silken and crimson, while others are rough and burlap. Each thread depicts a different meeting that has yet to occur. We are meant to interact with one another in this life and let our lives overlap. It sometimes seems that social media is chasing away the need for those real-life connections, but something within our own minds begins to shift when we start to truly believe that every single thing that happens does so for a reason. Not all encounters are supposed to last forever. Sometimes, those meetings come in for just a mere moment in time. Perhaps it was to delay, so that the car accident would be missed, or even to arrange a meeting for you with a potential lover. Sometimes, the universe sends us people to help us on our journey, even if they aren't meant to be a significant part of it. Life is a magical mystery of synchronicity, which is the belief that the universe sends us signs along the way to help direct us toward our life purpose. This can be the random meaning of people, angels, numbers, songs, and even feathers letting us know that there is a plan in place that we are not yet aware of. Sometimes it seems that the more amazing something is the less we can actually recognize it in our lives. Perhaps we can't truly ever plan for destiny, but maybe we can prepare ourselves for it by making room for the unexpected. Souls who are meant to wake us up. I suppose these are those individuals who come into our lives permanently or at least for an extended period of time. 
Sometimes, these are even soulmates or twin flames. These individuals come into our lives to create a roadblock for us. They ultimately stop us from living the life that we have been, and they make it impossible to ignore the call to awaken. In many ways, these people are those who are rare gold, and we can sometimes sense them upon our initial meeting. Usually there is a sense of recognition in our eyes as well as a familiar vibration between individuals. Yet this doesn't mean that they aren't meant to disrupt the status quo. When we are young, we all have an idea of how we think our life will go, and then we get to the place where all we can do is laugh because of the actual path that it is taking. Nothing goes according to plan, but that's because things aren't meant to. Instead, we sometimes receive divine intervention from these souls who are sent to us because of prior soul contracts. In essence, we have agreed to meet in this life prior to being born. We have agreed upon the time, and even the meeting place. All that is then left is for Faye to play out, so that we can be directed back toward ourselves and the life purpose that we have yet to fulfill. Souls help remind us who we are. In life, it sometimes seems that we battle with growing away from ourselves. We are these amazing children filled with fire and creativity. And somewhere along the way, we forget what we used to believe in with such vigor. We often sell out for being adults and responsible. And somewhere along the way, we forget who we were truly born to be. This isn't about how much money we made, or even what kind of job we hold down. It's about our soul and inner compass. Are we living each moment being true to ourselves? Or have we instead adopted the ideals and expectations of others in an attempt to be someone that we think others need? The most difficult aspects that any of us face is the decision and journey to be ourselves, to break the mold, and to live according to our own truth. These types of souls come into our lives to help remind us of who we were, so that we can begin to be more true to ourselves. Sometimes, they will do it gently, and at other times, it will need to be more disruptive, so that we can remember what it is we've so deeply forgotten. Sometimes, the truth is that in order to become who we are meant to be, we first need to remember who we were before we tried to be like everyone else. Souls who simply hold space for us. Often these are the ones who we simply cross paths with momentarily who are meant to hold space for us in some small way. These are the conversations that begin instantly and last for hours while on a bus, or those smiles as we walk with a coffee in hand, wondering how our hearts became broken once again. Sometimes, it seems we believe that cosmic, soul connections have to be these big, lifelong experiences, but in reality, we have them every single day. Just because someone doesn't stay in our lives for years doesn't mean that their purpose is to fulfill a meaningful one. Usually these types of souls don't know us well. Perhaps, it may even be that it was merely us noticing someone who is invisible to most, such as a homeless person on the street or that which hiding on this side of the road. However, the beautiful thing is that we all have a story, and we all have a purpose in this life. Sometimes people come in to change our lives and stay, and at other times, they merely hold space so other changes can occur. Our threads of interconnectedness are what make this planet as amazingly unpredictable as it is, because the reality is that we just never know when we'll bump into someone who was sent to us to change our lives.